Welcome, New Life family, to our Wednesday night. We're going to change up some things and do some things tonight a little differently. And uh, Sister Bon and I want to greet you, Sister Bon. Well, we can truly say we miss you. It's different speaking to an empty crowd here and not being able to see all of you, but uh, we just came tonight to encourage you and to tell you that we are praying for you. And the best thing to do in a time like this is to hold on the scriptures that we know. I want to read a couple scriptures tonight, and in Psalms 23 and 4, it says, Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, because you are close beside me. We could say you're behind me, you're in front of me, you're on my side, and you are inside of me. And so how do we get through this? We hold on to the one who holds our future. We love you, and we're praying for you, and each one of us tonight are going to address this issue, tell you how much we love you and appreciate you. It says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. And this is actually a new way to assemble together is through technology. And we thank God for that at this time and the time that we are going through right now. We love you. I want to speak to you about some of the things that we'll be doing over the next several weeks. And... Uh... You will see a noticeable difference and a step up in our streaming and our constant contacting weekly through email, text, phone calls, and Facebook, even the call center. So if you get a call from us, the staff, or from some of our members, we're checking on our family, making sure that you're safe. Uh, our staff pastors have a list of families and uh, individuals that they'll be calling weekly, so please do not be aggravated if we get calling you more than one time or twice a week. And it's important that if you've not heard from us, that you call us and you say, hey, I've not heard anybody from anybody or called anybody. Nobody sent me a text. We may not have your information correct in our computer, so if you'd be so kind to call us, we sure would appreciate that. And we love our church family, and boy, the absence of getting together makes the heart grow fonder. I can't tell you how many dozens upon dozens of people many many people have contacted through email and text that they have missed church and there's an old saying there's an old saying that says that you never know how much it meant to you till it's gone and uh, we're only going to be separated for just a few more days few more weeks and we believe that we're going to get through this together with the lord's help so at this time i'm going to let brother bruce come and address you and Give him your undivided attention, if you would, please. Brother Bruce. Good evening, guys. We just wanted to tell you so much how much we miss you, miss being together in this building that we're here tonight. And, and I'm believing with all of my heart it won't be long where we all can be together. But we are thankful for this opportunity and the ability that we do have to communicate with you and to get things out to you, communications to you in a different way. As Pastor said, we will continue every day to reach out to you in some form or fashion. It may be a phone call. It may be through Facebook, social media. You may get an email or a text, so be watching for those all the time. And we are continually learning new ways to communicate with you guys every day. As pastors, we're going through something right now that we've never been through. None of us have ever faced and been through before. So just bear with us. We're trying our best to reach you, communicate with you, and we want you to know that we believe God is going to get the glory out of all of this. We believe his kingdom is going to grow. And my prayer is that the day we come back into this building together, there will be hundreds upon hundreds coming in, people that we may not even know coming because they're seeking something during this time. We're praying for you guys every single day. We want you to know that. We also want you to know that you can call us anytime you need to. And you can also send prayer requests. We have an email address. It's prayer at newlifetyler.com. Again, that's prayer at newlifetyler.com. You can call us or send an email and let us know your prayer request, and we will get that immediately when you send it, and we will respond very quickly. So don't hesitate to send an email. Let us know your prayer request. Also, lastly, uh, if you have not heard from us, we've reached out over the past couple of weeks, we've made a lot of phone calls. We send out a lot of emails and text. And I've had people say, well, I haven't been getting any of that. 
please, as Pastor said, let us know. Uh, we go through our system pretty regularly and we try to keep it updated, but sometimes your cell phone may change or you may get a different email address or we have the wrong one somehow. You can call us again here at the church or send an email to that same email, prayer at newlifetyler.com, uh, new I'm sorry, and let us know that you haven't been getting any information and we will get that fixed immediately and corrected. We love you guys. We can't wait to see you again soon. Have a great, great week, and, and we will be praying for you. God bless. Our family worship pastors have a few things they want to share with you and your families. So, Brother John, Sister Aaron, would you address? Well, how's everyone doing? I know you can't really respond to us, but we want you to know that we love you guys so much. We miss you guys. We miss the whole congregation, but especially we miss our youth and we miss our children. Um, it's, it's been so sad walking around here that, I mean, there's been a couple of the staff kids walking around. We see some of the daycare kids, but we don't get to see you guys. We don't get to see any of the youth. And we've seen you on Zoom and different things, but I just can't wait till we get back to the face-to-face -face time that we can hang out and learn more about God and everything that he has for us. But I also wanted to, Miss Aaron's going to say something in just a second, but I wanted to update you that we are in the process, like Pastor said, of updating all of our equipment so that your online experience is way better. Um, if you've tuned in the last couple of weeks to watch us online, we're sorry. Um, our video quality is just not where it needs to be, but we are in the process of updating that. Hopefully that might be done in the next couple of weeks, but we are looking at equipment, definitely trying to make that happen for us. Our audio, we are changing that, and we're going to try and make that better as well because we know we have to make the best experience for you guys online to watch us while you're not here in the building. Of course, in the long run, it'll make it better for the future and everything will be better, but we just want to let you know that we are updating it. We'll get to it just as soon as we can and make everything happen, but we thank you for your <laughs> patience with us and that you have been tuning in to watch it. I just know sometimes it is hard, and it's sometimes hard to listen to. So we are definitely at a place where we're looking at that and trying to fix that, but we will get there, and we just want to, again, say we love you, and thank you so much for just tuning in and making this still your church home. And I just wanted to say, if you haven't been connected in our Zoom for our kids, uh, zero to sixth grade or our youth seventh to twelfth grade you can email that same email prayer at new life tyler and we will be happy to give you instructions on how you'll be able to be a part of that we for the kids we do wednesday at seven and sunday morning at ten thirty the youth are doing sunday school at nine fifteen, and they're doing wednesday night at seven thirty, i believe um, so you can um, Again, send that email. We want to try to stay connected with all of them. And uh, during the week, we're having a video devotional that we'll also post on that Facebook page. So if you want more information on that, we would love to hear from you. And now from the department of our bridge builders, Brother Jim, would you have a few words for our yes. people? I, I just want to say to our senior adults and our bridge builders how much we genuinely miss seeing you. You know, there's just something about shaking a hand and giving a hug and really just being in your presence, just being together. You know, we really weren't made to be alone. We were made for one another. And I, we just can't wait till we have the opportunity to meet with you once again in person. Uh, you know, it's, it's very important right now that we not do that so that we can stem the, the growth and the community spread of this virus. So I know that we're all working together in this, and none of us wanted it, but we're in it together. And so this is the means that we're going to have for a few weeks to meet together, and so we're going to do the best we can with it. You know, we had a wonderful time in March uh, during our Bridge Builders gathering. It was a great time, and I can't wait to, to be able to do that again. It'll be here before we know it. And we just, Robin and I just want you to know that we love you very much. We're praying for you. If you need anything, give me a call. And uh, you can call the church or call my cell number, whichever you would like. And we look forward to being with you in person real soon. I also wanted to speak today uh, to my adult care ministry group. And I just wanted to say how much I really appreciate all the effort that you've done with me for almost two years now. We've been doing this. And even though right now we're technically locked out of 
of our uh, nursing centers. I want you to continue to, uh, to pray for them uh, at Providence and Park Place and Rose Trail and, and Greenbrier. This is an excellent opportunity for us to raise them up uh, to the Lord, and not only the residents, but also the staff, uh, that they would have extra kindness and, and extra compassion uh, for the residents as they uh, minister to them daily. So please keep them in your prayers uh, on a daily basis, and we just thank you for your service. One more thing I'd like to say is uh, to our devotional writer team. I thank you so much for all that you've done. Getting us through the first quarter, we're coming to the end of that right now, and we have available now the second quarter, and you could call the church, and Sister Nella can get a book for you. Uh, but it's available, and I just want to say thank you for your prayer, for your hard work in reading the Word, listening, and then writing inspired words to our family here at New Life. Thank you so much for all that you've done. And listen, I know that a lot of you are home right now, and if you'd like another week, we still have the third and fourth quarter to go, and just give me a call, and I'll set you up with another week. God bless you, so, and we love you so much. Thank you, Pastor Jim. You and Robin are doing a great job. We would like for everyone that's viewing right now, listen carefully. You might even want to get a pen and piece of paper. Sister Vicki is going to come and present some very, very important information for you at this time. Sister Vicki. Good evening, New Life. Um, it's so good to see you, even though we are not face-to-face. -face, uh, you're with us here in our hearts, and we love and we miss you guys so much. I don't know about you guys, but um, I miss Wednesday night meals, just the the congregation of getting together and, and uh, just having a good time, and I can't wait for us to do that again. Um, I'm coming to you tonight to let you know of some resources in our community. Not only can our church here help with prayer and uh, spiritual guidance and things of that nature, but uh, we want you to be aware of some resources in the community if you guys are needing food, if you're needing um, any type of toiletry issues, anything like that. Um, East Texas Food Bank it has several programs that are going on right now if you live in Smith County. The first program is the Senior Box Delivery Program. And it is for seniors that are 60 and above who live within Smith County or the Tyler City limits. And you have to have income guidelines for that one. If you are interested, you can contact the East Texas Food Bank at 903 597-3663, or you can go to their website, which is easttexasfoodbank.org, and you can look for the link that says Seniors 60 Plus. Also, the East Texas Food Bank is doing an emergency food box distribu distributing on this Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's going to be at the East Texas Fairgrounds, and this is open to any of the community members. You just have to present a piece of mail with your address on it. There is also two more days of drop-off location food for TISD students. Thursday, the East Texas Food Bank will be at Griffin, Caldwell, and Bolter. Friday at Three Lakes, Moore and Hubbard. And boxes are distributed, one per TISD household, while supplies last. Also, there's another way that you can help the East Texas Food Bank. They are doing a virtual food drive. You can go on to their website. You can click on that tab on that page, and you can donate food through the East Texas Food Bank to help out in this time of need. Also, if you go to our website, under the Corona banner, there are resources and links that will help during this time of social separation. We have several different links on there. We have links that give guidelines to social distancing. We have links that help with how to cope with social distancing and quarantine and shelter in place. We have those resources in English and in Spanish, and we are adding to these lists every day as the resources come into us 
So know that you're not going through this alone. We are all in this together, and we are working together for the goodness and the greatness to God, and he's going to get the glory out of this. And so we just want you to know that we are here for you. We love you. If you have any need at all, please contact the church office, and we can see if we can help you fill that need. Thank you, Sister Vicki. Uh, when you do contact the church office, the first person you probably will see or talk to is Sister Onella. We are in a lo lockdown position where you can come to the church, call, we'll open the door, try to meet your need. Sister Onella, would you share a couple of comments, please? New Life family, I really miss you all, especially on Sundays when I'm in my service mode. Miss the coffee bar, miss serving you there, miss going down the hallways, and most of the time that's when I see you. But I'm going to step into my administrative assistant role. If you have any need at this time, I'm there at the phone every day. And I just want to let you know if you call 903-871-8700, I will be there for you. I hope I have my cheerful voice on. I try to have it on all the time. But more importantly, I'm going to be there to make sure your messages, any information that you need, even if you need a short prayer, I will be there for you. So don't hesitate to call us at 903-871-8700, and I will be there to serve you. If you can't get me during the week from Monday through Thursdays, don't hesitate to give me an email at obrown at newlifetyler.com, and I'll make sure I answer that to take care of your needs. I miss you all, love you, and I'm definitely praying for the church body every day. God bless you. We have quite a bit of information that we are giving you. Uh, we have also adjusted our website, and I'm going to ask John to come back just for a moment, tell you how easy it is for you to stream our services now. We've changed some of the introduction on the website, but John, would you address that, please, and, and some of the uh, things that Sister Vicki shared? Yes. Um... On our website now, there used to be, when you went to newlifetyler.com on our homepage, there was many different banners that would fly by, and it, some of them were come visit us, all these different things. At this moment in time, we obviously can't visit. So the only banner that is there, it says watch us live online. Uh, there, on that banner, you can click there, or there's a little spot on that same banner that says watch us now, and it will take you directly to the page where you can watch us online. Everything will be posted on that page for all of our online services, such as this that you're watching right now, for Sunday mornings, anything else that we do. We, when we go live, that will be there on that live streaming page. But also, like Miss, Miss Vicki said earlier, across the top of the page on every single page on our website, it says COVID-19 update. And that is where you can click so you can get all of the resources Miss Vicki just talked about. And also, again, go to our bot, the bottom of our page. There's our Facebook link there. You can see things we're posting there. And also our phone number, like Ms. Ms. Onella just said, 903-871-8700. Again, we love you, and thank you so much for what you're doing for us. And if we can do anything for you, we will be there for you as well. John, I think there's also a YouTube link. Are we... But there is a... The YouTube link is on that live streaming page. Okay. So, okay. All right. So uh, we appreciate that, and it's going to make a lot, things a lot easier for you to come in and be with us on Sundays and Wednesday evenings. At this time, Brother Jim has something he'd like to share with you that's very, very, very vitally important to New Life Worship Center and our family. Okay, let, me, let me just say today on behalf of Pastor Rudy and C.J. Bond and our executive council and all of the staff here, we are so grateful and thankful for your faithfulness in standing with us during this time. We know uh, that it can be discouraging. It can be challenging. There's a lot of frustrations, disappointments uh, that we all face. Uh, pulpit to the pew. And we just want you to know that uh, we're grateful that you've stood with us. Pastor Bond and I had the opportunity to, to visit our bank uh, this week and just discuss some things with our banker. And, and he told us some pretty daunting things about the condition of many churches in our area. 
And I want you to know this, that we're not one of those churches because you've not forgotten to honor God as the one who gives you the ability to get wealth and that you honor him with the first fruits of your increase because that you stand in, and you're consistent in that, even in times of hardship. Uh, we find ourselves in a, in, a, in a decent position today compared to uh, a lot of churches, uh, and, and it's because of you. And we just want you to know how much we appreciate that, uh, that you, you've done what you needed to do, and you've remained faithful. God is ever faithful to us, and, and we're just so thankful for that. And we just want to let you know once again that uh, the, the methods of giving are, are either you use the Secure Give app, or you can go to our website and click on the Give link there. Uh, or you can uh, mail your check-in to New Life Worship Center, 18535 Highway 69 South. That's Tyler, uh, 75703. Uh, you, you can literally, you can also bring it. We've had many do that. And uh, you have to call the number when you get here. We're in, we're in a, what's called a locked state. We can do business, but we can't allow uh, folks to come in for that business. So you can, there's a phone number on the front of the door. You call us, and we'll come out and meet you. Uh, but it, however you choose to do it, just know that we're so appreciative and thankful of you standing with us, and we're standing with you as well in, in, in prayer, and that God's got this. Uh, and thank you so much. Okay, Sister Bone has something she'd like to share. We want to let you know that Kids Are Life Child Care Facility is still open for essential workers only. And I'm just saying that so that you can be in prayer that God will protect our daycare uh, the teachers and all that are back there. Uh, it is just for the essential workers, for the doctors and nurses, whoever is considered essential. So be in prayer for our child care facility. Thank you. In closing, I want to give you a scripture, and it's a uh, scripture that came to my heart and mind uh, this morning. In Exodus, the eighth chapter, uh, the Lord said to Moses, get up early in the morning and confront Pharaoh as he goes to the water and say to him this is what the Lord says let my people go that they may worship me and if you do not let my people go I will send swarms of flies on you and your officials and upon your people into their houses the house of the Egyptians will be full of flies and even the ground where they are now listen to this this is interesting but on that day I will deal differently with the land of Goshen I will deal differently where my people live no swarms of flies will be there so that you will know that I am the Lord in this land. I will make a distinction between my people and your people. And the miraculous sign will occur tomorrow. God just really kind of spoke to me that he's going to make a distinction between God's people and people that are not under God's covering. I don't know about you, but I really believe that is, we're going to join together here in just a few moments, that God's going to send a covering of protection by his precious blood over all the constituency of New Life Worship Center. In Exodus chapter 9, the same thing happens. Again, Moses approaches Pharaoh and says, about this time tomorrow, I will send the worst hailstorm you have ever witnessed. And sure enough, it happened. But there was no hail that fell in the land of Goshen. And then in Exodus 12, we see where they put blood on the doorpost of every house. They were covered by the blood of the lamb. And when the death angel came through, there was not a single person under the roof of an Israelite home that was touched by the death angel because of the blood. And this may be a little old-fashioned, but I still believe in the power of the blood. I believe in the power of the blood covering, and we're going to join hands right now, and with you in that audience, I want you to go ahead and pray with us and bind with us and agree with us in the name of Jesus that the blood will cover us. Father, I pray for the New Life Worship Center family. I pray that there be a blood covering that will come over every household that is viewing this. Father, in Christ Jesus' name, let hundreds, if not thousands, fall under this blood covering in East Texas, I pray. Father, we rebuke the power of the enemy. We rebuke this disease and cut it off at its root cause. We come against it in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Coronavirus, you must bow your knee to the Lord Jesus Christ 
who is reigning supreme in our hearts and in our lives, in our homes, in our marriages. Father, in Jesus' name, put a blood covering right now, immediately, over this entire East Texas area, over the state of Texas, over the United States of America. God, we drive a spear through the heart of this virus and curse it in the name of Jesus and send it back to the pit of hell from which it came. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you so much. Tune in Wednesday at 7 and Sunday morning at 1030. We love you. Got a great powerful word this coming Sunday, 1030. God bless. See you then. Thank you.